fellow floss tubers it's patty here with episode 196 today is june the 7th 2022 on today's show i have whips and hauls so sit back and relax grab your beverage of choice or water for me your craft of choice and let's chat so how has everybody's week been mine was really busy but good um I got almost everything accomplished that I need to get accomplished. The kitchen has two more areas that I need to pull the stuff from, but I have until Sunday to do that, so I have plenty of time to get that done. Um, we've moved all of the big pieces of furniture except for the day-to-day -day furniture that we use that are going to go into our bedroom while we're sleeping in the motorhome. So Sunday is going to be a very busy day here at Casa de Patty, but you know, we'll get it all done and it'll be fine. Um, let's see. On Thursday, I went and hung out with my mom for a little bit. I just have so much to do that I don't have a lot of time to sit with her, and I feel really bad about that. But with everything that's going on, she understands, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, on Friday, I took some time off and went and had lunch with the girls at a friend's house. So we had a really great knitting time. Um, we sat outside because it was beautiful outside for lunch. And you know, we knit and talked in the inside first and then we went outside. And then after lunch, I kind of made my exit because I really did need to come back here and finish some stuff up. On Sunday, we had the Littles and they had a blast because Grandpa and I had taken apart the kitchen table. So the dining room was huge for them to be able to play in and run around and yell. And we went to the Denali and we played there and they had a really great time. Uh, and uh, what else? Um, Monday, the hub stayed home again and he painted the bedroom. We hung up the bracket for the holding the TV and a TV stand that is a floating TV stand. It's the same TV stand we have out here in the living room. So it's really cool with the continuity of the two rooms to have at least that much. We also put in new blinds. So that's why I'm not sitting where I sat before. These blinds are white and they blew out the background. So I decided I would change up the background. This is our coat closet. That is the front door over there. <laughs> and the TV stand, you kind of see it right here. That's the floating TV stand. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Because besides having the, you know, the refrigerator in the living room, everything is kind of strange. <laughs> but. Um, we really like the blinds. We got them from uh, Amazon, and if anybody wants to know what they're like or what I feel, you know, comment down below. They're really nice. They're very nice, and they weren't very expensive. We ordered some for the bedroom, and uh, they should be getting here in two weeks, so we can hang those up when we go back to move into the bedroom. Um, but other than that, not much else. <laughs> For the next couple of weeks, it's going to be crazy around here, but at least Thursday, they're coming to, to dig the hole. So everything is starting. So yay, which is a really good thing because our hot water heater blew the uh, relief valve last night. So there's no more hot water. So I headed to the gym this morning, which I had already knew I was going to have to at some point um, start showering at the gym. So I decided to heck with it. I'm going to start working out and showering at the gym and hopefully this will force me into getting that routine going to where I will keep going and lose weight because that's my goal is to not necessarily lose a lot of weight but at least get stronger and be able to walk farther. So. I mean, I could walk far enough, but I would like to, I'd like to be a little bit more fit for the grandkids. So, shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. As you recall, last week, if you've been here before, my stand broke. 
So I've got two lap stands that I can use. So one of my lap stands, I put Little House Needleworks Kringles. And this is being stitched on 30 count Parisian Gray by Access Commodities. And I did this on Tuesday and Wednesday. So I got all of the brick, all of the grout work done for the bricks here. And I started working on this down. And then Wednesday afternoon, my stand showed up. So in haul, I will show you the stand because uh, Kay's creation did change the stand quite a bit. So I'm not going to be able to get replacement parts for it. I can now, but if they, as long as they don't change it up. And there's one thing I wish they hadn't changed, but I will show you that in a minute. But here it is. This is my work on this. I really need to get cracking on that or I'm not gonna make my goal of finishing a square a month I really need to get back to that and then on Wednesday after the stand got in and I got it all put together I wanted to tr test it out since it had changed a little bit to make sure that I was still going to like it so I pulled out uh, lavender lavender and lace Santa of the forest and I'm stitching him on 32 count natural by MCG textiles. I was trying to think of it as natural or raw or whatever, but I think it's natural. So this is where it's going to look like when he is completed. And I actually got a lot of stitching done. So here's where he looks now. Look at that. He looks so good on this fabric, even though I really hate stitching on this fabric, but he looks so good on it. I filled in the uh, forest back here. So I filled in all the blues, got the trees done, and then started working on the rabbit. So that was really a lot of fun to start working on the rabbit. And he really makes me want to stitch on him more, but I'm going to put him away until July. Yes, so Christmas in July. Try to work on the... Uh, Probably got two Christmas projects, so they will definitely be, or no, I have three Christmas projects, so they will definitely be getting a lot of work in next month. Because by next month we should be back in the house, and I should be able to, to uh, use my stand in here. So, I also, of course, worked on Friday night. This is art by Lewis Johnson, charted by Gecko Rouge. This is on 25 count, easy count grid, white and gray Lugana. And I didn't get a lot accomplished on this, but I did get some more. I got, an, I think I got another, maybe two rows, maybe. I might have been able to get two rows done, but I can't remember. But there is where it's at. So yeah so much fun so much fun so now haul we'll do the easy one first i picked up halloweenies by plum street sampler samplers and i did get some fabric okay sorry about that that was the hubs on the phone wanting to know what the gas company did while they were here because the gas company came while i was at the gym so i went out and found what the gas company did and ended up getting a mosquito bite also Ugh, hey mosquitoes so should we get back to halloweenies um i did not get the call for gast i did get some fabric and it should be coming in later this week because it's being shipped with uh the eagle that's coming in for that uh group of uh, 12 that i'm doing monthly so i've got number seven so that's exciting. Um, I will be doing this in memory of my grandmother. My grandmother and I had a really great relationship. And when I was 13, I spent the summer with her. She lived down in Arizona. So I spent a very hot summer. <laughs> we went to different places in Arizona. We went to California. We had a really great time. But my grandmother was just a lady who had her makeup just so at one point Mary Kay 
um, cosmetics wanted her to be a model for them so that was kind of exciting but she turned that down um, she had her hair pinned up and she went weekly to get her hair done so the night before she was getting it done she took it all down brushed it all out and it was a longer than what you think it was because of the poofy of her hair you thought it was short but it wasn't it was very long and <laughs> she had it dyed so dark that she looked like a witch I mean it was just poof <laughs> and uh, I called her ooh it's the witch so she thought that was so much fun and so funny so now I just she loved dachshunds because her uh second husband had a uh, dachshund named Hans. She was in love with him. And it was the only dog she ever really liked. And I can't believe that she had a dog because her house, you could eat off the floor. I mean, you could eat off her floor. It's craziness. I did a lot of cleaning when I was in Arizona too. <laughs> so this is my tribute to my grandmother. The Halloweenies. I think that'll be a great one for her. Okay, so, sorry about that, ramble, ramble. My stand came in on Wednesday. I was so happy to get it. Um, so, I'm not going to talk too much about it. This is a Kay's Creation stand. Um, it has a lot of, oh, what's this? Sheet metal? Not sheet metal. Um, yeah, probably sheet metal. And it's all metal it's really great there are a few things they did change on it they changed this pole they worked it differently um, one of the mods that I do I do right here oh, you can't see it okay let's do that is I put a magnet let me see if I can get it closer eh, it's kind of hard sorry try not to drop things I put a magnet for my needles right here this trench is not as deep as it was on the uh, the one I got before, but it still works, so I was able to put a magnet in, and I did. Um, I also, they changed this. This used to be stainless steel. Now it is plastic. So I'm hoping that this part can come apart easier, and maybe I can get a replacement when I need to. So I use um, mole skin on all of the metal parts here that grip onto the Q-snap so that it doesn't rip up my grime guard. Because I did, I did that one time before doing the moleskin and it ripped up the pattern, the project itself. So I, I did that so it wouldn't do that because it was also ripping up the grime guards. So now with this, it doesn't do it anymore. Um, I put my magnifier clamp here so it's in a good spot. I can move my magnifier wherever I need. So it worked really well. I was very happy with it. And I am glad to have a floor stand. I like floor stands much better than lap stands. So I really missed my floor stand when it broke. Um, but um, plans, um, I do, I'm just going to stitch whatever comes and once I we move out into the motorhome, it, hopefully I will be able to work on um, Fright Night and Kringles, but I'm not sure. It depends on the light. It depends on how hot it is in there. It, I mean, there's lots of variations and variables to decide what I'm going to do. But I think, though, looking around, I don't have anything else to talk to you guys about. So I hope that you all have a safe and healthy and happy week. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for coming in and checking me out. And I hope that you will uh, like and subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back week after week. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully this will calm down. <laughs> I know it will calm down um, once everything is done in here. But hopefully it will calm down before then. Because uh, it's just too much. <laughs> So I hope that you all stay safe, happy, and healthy. And I hope that whatever you craft, you crafted to your heart's content. And I'll see you next time.